Hey everyone, I'm Deanne from Newfoundland, Canada. Welcome to my floss tube channel, Stitching on the Rock. Um, I'm doing March Madness this month and this is video number 11. Hi everyone. Well, we had a touch of Sheila's brush overnight. Um, I'll put up a picture that I took this morning so you can see. Um, I haven't talked a whole lot about Newfoundland stuff in these March Madness videos, but but today was a perfect day to bring up a little bit um, Sheila's brush, uh, which is a weather lore term here in Newfoundland. Apparently it originated in Ireland, but they say that it's not used much in Ireland anymore, but we've stuck with it here. And I actually mentioned it um, last week. Uh, we had a little bit of snow and someone commented on my Instagram or my video, I can't remember, um, where they commented that in Nova Scotia they used it too. So I don't know if that Newfoundlanders bringing the term to uh, Nova Scotia because a lot of Newfoundlanders moved up to Nova Scotia in the Sydney area to work in the mines or if it's an Irish influence over there. I know they have a lot of Scottish influence over there but I don't know how much Irish they have. But Sheila's brush is uh, what we call, I guess, the last big snowstorm of the year. Usually it's close to St. Patrick's Day. Um, there's a bit of unknown of who Sheila was. Uh, some people think it was Patrick's wife. Some people think it was his housekeeper or his sister. But basically it's uh, Sheila sweeping out the old season and bringing in the new. Now <laughs> spring is going to be a ways away as you can tell by my picture here. But we'll see. It's we're supposed to have snow all weekend, so we'll see if that happens or not. Anyway, on to the results of March Madness quarterfinal number two. Um, we had a winner in Mermaids of the Deep Blue by uh, Mirabilia. And then for quarterfinal number three, it was um, Sunflowers in Summer by Country Cottage Needleworks versus um, Circle of Friends by Mirabilia. So uh, I will put up a picture of Sunflowers in Summer, what it's supposed to look like. Mine will not look anything like that because I just covered a mistake <laughs> and I'm not changing it. So it's going to have to be fudged again. Um, and then a picture of uh, where I was after round one. And I got 225 stitches in this time. So here are, we are. And I was filling in the light green on the house and I discovered that my windows are shorter than they're supposed to be. They're actually four rows shorter. So I'm not fudging it. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I'm not taking it out. I'm fudging it. I'm going to add some extra lines of the house down below the, the photos and uh, below the photos, below the windows. And I will probably add an extra line after all the windows are done or, uh, you know, down at the bottom where the flowers are. I'll make it work. <laughs> so it's not going to look anything like the original. <laughs> but that's it. Uh, and then uh, Circle of Friends. Uh, I'll put up a picture of the way it's supposed to look like when it's done. Hopefully it will look like it. <laughs> and a picture of where I was after round one. And here we are after round two. Oops, let me fix it. Um, There we are. So this is the center girl and I uh, filled in the rest of the chronic threads in her headband and around the ruffle of her dress and I filled in all of the rest of her hair and that was 439 stitches. So the poll for those two are um, on my Instagram, Deanne underscore stitching on the rock and right now Sunflowers in Summer is running away with it. I don't even think Circle of Friends had a vote last time I looked. So you can go on there and vote for whichever one you want to see move on to the semifinals. And my next set of quarterfinals, and this is the last quarterfinals, um, it's going to be um, Fleur de Lis by Jeanette Douglas Designs against uh, Little Things Sampler by Stitches Through the Years. So we'll see where they go and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.